Assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 7 We are starting now our worksheet but before that let's start the journey of reproduction in flowering plants Butterfly visit the flowers because they are taking nectar from them Flowers have sweet juice called nectar Insects come and drink nectar They that have flowers to grow fruit and seeds. After pollination and fertilization, fruits and seeds develop. These fruits and seeds are very important for next growth of plant production. See, these seeds are actually baby plants when they get proper suitable conditions, they grow. and the life cycle of plants goes on this is the life of flowering plants seeds will grow now again and and in flowering plants flower will come again the pollination and fertilization will occur and the life cycle will go on assalamu alaikum grade 7 today we have to do worksheet and today is 20th july and worksheet is in your booklet jan booklet you have to open science portion there you will get your worksheet so let's start with this question number 1 is choose the correct answer right now question number 1 part 1 is the most important part of a plant for the continuation of species is the flower rest all plant and parts are very important but not for the next generation flower is very important for continuation of the species so the correct option is one is d second in flowering plant sexual reproduction involves the formation of seeds b is the correct answer you know that flowering plants produce seeds third in order of the parts of a flower from outside inwards the correct order is sepals then petals then stamens then carpels Now fourth portion is where is the male sex cell is in a plant you should know that it's in pollen grain fifth is which of these is the female sex cell i know you know that this is d part ovule or egg cell sixth is the part of a flower to which pollen grain carried by insects stick is called the stigma b part Seventh, hay fever is caused by the male cells of certain plants. It's a disease. These male cells contained in the pollen. Pollens. Okay. Eight. Which of these stages is the beginning of fertilization? A pollen A part. A pollen tube begins to grow. Ninth is because of a watermelon. fruit contains many seed we know that normal flower of a watermelon contains large number of ovules tenth is which of these condition is not suitable for germination to occur b cold rest all are needed eleventh is which of these is not a method of seed dispersal this is d fog you find a new fruit with a thin flattened piece sticking out from it how it is most likely to be dispersed it's by animals because this will be caught by the animal fur so this is the correct answer b what is the first part eighth is what is the first part to emerge when a seed germinates it's radical the primary root the first root of a plant baby plant is seed and its first root is radical d Fourteenth question is sexual production is big big ad- advantage to a species because it provides lots of variation in the species. Okay, because rest all they are telling identical, same, similar. So the correct answer is B. Fifteenth is when a strawberry plant produces a new plant without the formation of seed, this type of asexual production is called vegetative reproduction. So correct answer is. D it's a it's a, just a consequence the type of vegetative now the 
16 part is the type of vegetative reproduction seen in potatoes is by the formation of tubers okay d you can see that most of the answers are b or d now in question number 2 they have shown a diagram they have written they have written alphabets to label the different parts of a flower they are saying that in a part question number 2 a part you have to do in the table below write the correct letter next to the name of the part of the flower so sepal is a petal is d stamen is b stigma is e ovary is c now b part is which letter of the plant flower part next to its job or function we have to write the letter attracts insects to the flowers d petals d protects the flower when it is in bud a sepals makes the seeds c ovary makes and stores pollen b anther has a sticky surface for the pollen to land on e stigma now a part is a honey bee with pollen on its form another flower lands on the stigma of this flower what is this process called this process is called cross pollination you can also write just cross pollination or make the whole sentence write the whole sentence and then write cross pollination by changing it into answer the correct answer is cross pollination okay now d part name another way to po that pollen may be transferred from flower to flower you know that except honey there are may many rather than many other ways what are those ways pollen may be transferred from flower to flower not only just by honey bee they are also transferred by wind water or other animals like bats now e once the pollen lands on the stigma tiny tube grows downwards the view in the ovary the pollen nucleus travels from the tube to join with the egg cell or ovule what is this process called fertilization the meeting of pollen with the egg cell is called fertilization now the seed produced by flower need to be scattered how they it can happen the answer is the seed produced by the flower needs to be scattered over large area its area by wind water animals by explosive mechanisms okay now last part is the seeds need oxygen and warmth so they can germinate what other substance is needed as well as oxygen and warmth seeds also need water in order to germinate right that's enough you have to learn this worksheet it's very important take care allah hafiz